Hello, I'm Steve Swenson. I'm the Medical Director for Professionalism and Peer Support at Intermountain Healthcare, and I serve as a Senior Fellow at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, co-leading their joy and work effort. Um, today, I'm with uh, Taylor Davis from uh, with the Class Arch uh, Collaborative, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, professional burnout in healthcare and what that means for uh, providers, you know, and other caregivers, but most importantly, what it means for patients. As we have started to get into this, we realize that the keys to successful EHR deployment are threefold. One is, is that clinicians who use the EHR can't feel stupid. And, and roughly over half of physicians we find um, express frustrations that they feel stupid when they use technology, when they use the EHR. No one likes going to work and feeling stupid. Nobody likes to do things and, 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 and feel stupid, especially a workforce that's, that's gone to school for over 12 years after high school in order to get to the place where, where they are. So this is, this is especially a group that doesn't like to do that. So, so we're not giving enough education uh, to some of the technology that we're doing. There's other areas in the hospital where we're also not giving enough education. To work as a team, you need to have the skills that you need to have. So, so it's not just the HR, we need to holistically look at are we empowering people with the skills that they need? Um, and not just only relying on medical school to do that. Um, secondly, we're finding that uh, uh, that individuals who are using the EHR um, feel like they're using a one-size-fits-all EHR, and, and it's not configured to their needs. That's that's extremely frustrating if, if we don't take the time to help configure it to make it work for them. Um, you talk about depersonalization of um, being a challenge with physician burnout, asking everyone to use the exact same EHR. Not that we should be using different products, but, but, but not configuring it to my needs, not taking the time to configure it to my needs as a caregiver, that's depersonalization. That means that, that I as an orthopedic surgeon should be using it the same, which I'm not. Um, if, if I were an orthopedic surgeon, I have to be using it the same as a podiatrist, the same as a urologist. Well, we have very different workflows. And, and so to be expecting us all to use it the same way is, is not fair. The third piece that we're finding is, is that the organizations who are highly successful, the end users report a high level of trust with leadership, administration, IT. And, uh, and again, speaking to the team environment, they feel like that, that these others care about their patients as much as they care about, and, and their efforts to, to give care, they care about it as much as they do. So as we step back and look at some of those drivers of EHR satisfaction, they're absolutely in line with, with drivers of success in, in, uh, uh, in reducing burnout and strong clinician and physician wellness. So these two efforts overlap. Um, you, you, if you're effectively working on the EHR, you're effectively working on burnout and, and, and vice versa. You really can't touch one without the other because they're so tied into the culture of an organization and where the organization is going. You're exactly right. They're, they're inextricably linked and intertwined and they're dividends uh, um, for workflow um, and organizational efficiency and the well-being of the of the caregivers. The, you know, one of the first steps is, you know, if you look at the workflow in urology or orthopedic surgery is to is to track it. And and so the you know a couple big landmark studies, Sinsky looked at ambulatory settings, hour of uh, doc time with patient, two hours of, of uh, clerical work. Mm -hmm. Hill and the emergency department, 10 hour shift, docs, four thousand mouse clicks. And you know, so that's out of hand.